It's light, it's practical, it has a zipper on it, it's reflective, and it's made in America. Two go systems, trifecta, large tarp. Let's go. Old school lean-to style, directed at the wind. They call it a Tyvex material. I could feel the reflectiveness of it just sitting under it. That's cool, but it's not stretchy at all, like your nylon or polypro tent material and usual tarp material. So that means you have to use some kind of bungee system or you will destroy it. <laughs> so the uh, stakes I just have in the ground didn't stretch it out too much on the bottom. Got the bungee cords up top. That's gonna give it a little bit of dynamics. All right, what's going on here? Okay, not ripped. No ripped, all right. So we got such uh, good winds, it actually ripped the stakes out of the ground. And for at least a full day, this thing has been just flopping around in the wind, so. Good test. We'll check for some more tears. I'm gonna restake it and then, uh, yep, we'll keep going. This is the second storm front we got rolling through. We just had another one last night. And this kite in the wind, <laughs> or it's more like a sail how I have it, has uh, survived. Interesting. So this zipper came off. So it has a way to just reconnect it right here. So we got some tearing here, you know, and if I keep pulling on it, there we go. So there goes that zipper. What is going on grunts and gruntettes? I've been sitting on this one for a while and you might see some wear and tear and abuse on this. It is extremely light because of the material. You have a waterproof zipper all the way around. Plenty of tie off points. We've got a reflective inside in there. So you can set this up as a low A-frame and retain some heat while still getting some airflow. Or you can wrap this dang thing around you like a bivy, zip it up, and you've got a full-blown waterproof blanket or bivy. It's very practical. You could do a lot with it. So let's talk about if it's grunt proof or not. Well, here are the main issues. Because of the material, there is no give in it. If you take a standard nylon tarp, you could pull on that thing, it stretches, heavy wind and snow. Even if you have bungee cords, it's gonna pull on that thing. It has to have some ductability in it. Ductability, yeah, ductility, one of those. The loops and tie-off points are very strong and reinforced, and those are dependable. However, the zipper and where the zipper is sewn on begins to fail. So the zipper functions very well, and I like that you can zip it almost all the way up, but it is extremely weak where that zipper connects. So I just keep tearing. So for the price, as far as materials and handwork on this thing, I would actually compare this to the Arcturus blankets. I'm sorry to say. However, because of the zipper, reinforced tie-off points and where it is made, you are going to pay significantly more than you would for the Arcturus blankets. And just like the Arcturus blankets that I have absolutely destroyed, the problem remains the same with this. You don't see a stuff sack in this video, why? As with basically every stuff sack I've ever received, single stitching, so you abuse that a little bit and you can see just from some of my wear and tear, the stitching is already coming out. So you keep abusing that even more and there you go, your stuff sack is essentially useless. Absolute garbage, it's just like the Arcturus stuff. The tarp all throughout has ripstop, and that's a very good design. But again, the problem is at the connection points where it's sewn on is horrible. So it doesn't matter that the blanket has ripstop throughout it when once this tears, it's just going to fall apart. Now, if you can find a way to baby this thing extremely, and not use it in harsh weather or a survival environment, it's going to do you good and it's going to be worth the money. However, a guy like me, and that's why I call it grunt proof, 
I abuse things, I don't baby things. I will now only use this as a emergency bivy, if that's all I have, or a ground tarp. That's it. I appreciate To Go Systems sending this out. Not a terrible product. People can probably find some use for it. It is made in America, if that matters to you. I think that's great. However, on my end, guys, I gotta say, this system is not grunt proof. No go. If you know of a product like this that could actually hold up in testing, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Out.